Guys, in this video, we're going to give you a uh, quick overview of how to get um, projects up and running quickly in FCS Networker. We're not going to go into all the details and all the offerings, just uh, a basic guide as to how to get started, and then you can uh, you could go from there and dive into some of the more um, sophisticated features of FCS if you want. Um, so basically, first, you want to download the account creator and get that up and running, um, and then you're going to want to create accounts. Uh, you could do this in a few different ways, but the way I like to do it, I just like to hit the quick uh, setup wizard. Um, let's put uh, test accounts. And then press OK. And then yes to all. And it's going to generate all details, user generated details and whatnot. And then all you need to do is press go and it'll create a set of accounts for you. If you want to create more than one set, just go to multiple, select the amount of runs you want. Um, and you could also change which uh, blog network and social network your accounts will automatically get uploaded to. Um, if you just leave it, it'll just upload it to uh, a network named after the project name of your account creation project. Now this is all auto-generated stuff right here. You can put in your own spun username, blog title, blog description if you want. Um, just if you do, make sure the username is unique. You see I put uh, some spun numbers at the end. That way it ensures that the username is uh, unique. Otherwise, you might get a lot of failed accounts. If you Like if you were making car insurance sites and you just put car insurance as the username, that's basically going to be taken um, at most of these sites. So you get a lot of fails if your username is not unique. But assuming that you just go with the quick project setup, all you do is press start here. You'd create accounts. You'd see the accounts get created and then they should get automatically uploaded. If for some reason they're not getting uploaded, make sure that you under the settings menu, click settings, make sure your web login details are the same, um, are saved properly in the software. They should do that automatically, but if you've changed your password or changed computers or something, it might not be. So just make sure that uh, your web log login details are saved in the settings. Now I'm not going to go and show a whole account creation run. We have other videos for that. But let's just assume you created a set of accounts, they got uploaded to FCS Networker, and uh, you want to get going. So we'll go into the web tool. When you log in, you'll see your dashboard here. Um, once again, there's some more sophisticated things. If you want to put in your spinner services and uh, article, article builder account or any of that stuff, we have other videos to show you how to do that. But if you just want to get a project up and created quickly, um, let's say we want to create a blog project. We'll go to create a blog project. So we have our accounts uh, uploaded into the system. And now we want to create a project to submit to some of these accounts. So basically you do is you'll uh, name this submission project, test project. And now you're going to see submission style, post amount per project. That's what you basically want to leave it on. These settings that are default, if you're unsure, leave them. These are only for... Um, more advanced uh, usage. So we have them set as default as the most used settings. The other options, we have post amount per account, which is basically what you'd use if, uh, let's say you wanted to do how many posts per day for each account. Let's say I wanted to post um, for 10 days and I wanted two posts a day for each account. That's uh, how you would use the post amount per account feature. And we're also adding a post amount per week feature. But normally, um, unless you wanted to specify how many posts per account per day, other than that, you want to use the post amount per project. So basically, you'd probably just leave this as is. Then uh, your schedule, um, let's say we want to create a project that's going to drip for five days. Okay, and then let's go and add some accounts that we want to submit to. So you, when you load up this accounts uh, tab, you'll have two options, account selection and network selection. Um, account selection, you could go in and choose individual accounts to get submitted to, but let's say we uploaded, uh, we did an account creation run, upload an entire network and want to submit to that entire network. So we go to network selection. Uh, let's say this was our network we wanted to submit to. Um, shows we have 51 accounts. Let's select that. We want to submit to that network. Choose that. You could choose multiple networks if you want. Choose individual accounts. There's many ways to do this, but... Let's just say we would just want to submit to that network. Then we want to choose our articles and our content. 
So we have a few different options here. We could choose to use saved articles. Uh, we could use a one spun article. We could use our auto content syndication feature. You could automatically generate content. You could upload the articles um, right onto this uh, project page. You could use Article Builder, you could put in RSS feeds. We have many different options, but for the most part, I'd say users just starting out probably use the one spun article feature. Now, if you're using saved articles, which is another thing people uh, will usually use, um, you would have to go in to the articles page here, click on the articles page and add your article beforehand if you want to do uh, upload bulk articles um, and maybe check them out before you submit it. You want to go and do this on the articles page and we have a video for that. But let's just say you just had one spun article. Uh, we'll just do, hey guys, this is, you can just paste it in there, but I'm just going to make something up right now. Our spun article content. Okay. This is just a All right. Then you'll be able to preview your article. Okay, now it's going to give you an option. See, we've selected uh, we've selected one network that has 51 accounts in it to submit to. So when you're going to submit, and all these options will basically have the same thing. It'll ask you if you want to submit to all the accounts or how many articles would you like to submit. So let's say we wanted to submit this spun article to all 51 accounts. We just leave it to submit to all. So it's going to submit to all the accounts. But let's say we chose our network of 51 and we just want to submit to 30 of those sites. Then we select uh, 30. So, oops, now it's going to submit this spun article to 30 of these 51 accounts selected. Um, and basically all the article options are the same. If you had saved articles, you'll see uh, if we wanted to submit this article, instead of one spun article, we choose this spun article and the number of accounts to submit to, we could submit to all, or we could choose an amount to submit to. And uh, we have, we'll have specific videos on each one of these features, but basically when you're choosing your content, you want to choose whether you want to submit to all the accounts selected or a certain number of those accounts selected. So once again, we're going to use the one spun article feature and we're not going to submit to all. We only want to submit to 30 of those accounts. So uh, basically then we're done with this top portion. So we're going to go down to select some extra options. So do we want to automatically add links into the articles? Uh, yes, for this we will. So we're going to choose to add links. Um, and then we're going to choose our link set. So you have the option to use saved link sets that you've already created. And you could create link sets beforehand on the link sets page. But if you're just getting started out, just want to get up and running quickly, just go to choose link sets, new link set, and then we're going to add a link set in here. We're going to say, um, let's do test link set. And let's say we wanted to, let's say yahoo.com was our money site. Uh, our anchors, great search engine, search engine. And then if we wanted some secondary anchors, uh, cool site. Okay, and then let's say 90% of the time we want our primary anchors, 10% of the time our secondary anchors, and then we'll choose. So now we're going to, this link set will get created and this will be what we're using um, in this project as our links. But you could also just, like I said, go and use previously saved links if you'd like and just select your link sets that were already saved. But just create a new link set and then we want to choose how many percentage of articles to get links. Uh, we'll say out of the 30 articles we're going to be submitting, 80% of those should get links. I want to use the URL instead of the keyword rich anchor, I want to use the URL as anchor text 25% of the time. Um, I'm just going to randomly have the links be placed in here and I want one to two links uh, per article. So this will randomly inject either one or two links per article. 
We could add secondary links. For this demonstration, I'm not going to. Uh, secondary links work the same way as the uh, main links option right there. Or And we could add authority links. So if we wanted to automatically have authority links, let's say uh, search engines would be our keyword. And then we want uh, one authority link per article. Um, and it will automatically go and find authority links for our articles if we want them um, and then add one authority link automatically. But for this demonstration, once again, we don't need that. This is just a simple setup. So we got our link set up. Uh, then we're going to go, do we want to add images and videos? Sure. Let's add images about search engines. And I just want images on the top and the bottom. I want uh, one to two images per post and uh, the alignment will be random. And then videos, uh, I want to add videos on search engines to each article. I don't, uh, I only want videos to appear at the bottom and let's say not every article I want to have a video. So I'll do, some articles will get zero, some will get one video. Um, Blurbs is kind of an advanced feature. We don't need that now. We don't need to translate our article and we're not going to mash and spin again our article. So basically we're all set here. We've got our project details. Our, we've named our project. We've set the schedule to drip for five days. We've selected our accounts and we've selected what content we're going to use. Then we added our automatic linking. We've select have images and videos and we're all set. So we're just going to save this project. And then it should just take a second and then you should see that your project comes up as saved and project added successfully. And then if we go and view our projects, you'll see our test project, zero to 30, one to five, it's on day one of five days that it's gonna run. And right now it's creating the project. It should take about one or two minutes and the project will be created and then it'll start dripping out. And uh, once it's created, you'll be able to see the pending submissions. Um, so now the project is being created. So its status is pending. That means it's, it's working. Um, and then if we clicked on the test project, you'll see all of our submissions pending right here. And uh, that's about it. And then as it uh, submits, if it's uh, successful, you'll see the link show up right there and you got all your links. And then you could, uh, as a project's going, you could download the successful links of the project. So we have many cool features, but that's just basically a quick rundown of how to get a project uh, set up quickly. And uh, we got many more videos showing you more in depth on what the different content features are, how to use those, the different linking features, all of that stuff. We have other videos, but hopefully this should give you guys a good rundown of how to get um, your projects going in FCS Networker. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.